Now I'm back at you pull it. And uh, you know I'm obsessed with this car here that has 70,000 on it. As you can see, most of the parts are gone on the dash. The dash here. The reason why I came back was because uh, there's a box that goes here. This big hole down here. That's the uh, HVAC unit. I'll show you what it looks like. I pulled it. This box it has a flapper in it. It has the lower motor inside of it. If you've ever worked on one of these boxes, it is a pain to change that blower motor. You basically have to take this this box here and just pull it all apart. Take these springs off, unbolt it. Plug in your new blower motor. Uh, I was amazed because this car only has 71,000. This foam is still intact. The foam, usually this foam is all disintegrated and destroyed. It's a nice piece here. They want about $80 this unit. But if you've ever had your AC or heater go out, you wish you had $80 to spend to fix your car. Another, another thing I'm going to check for is this distributor might be OEM. See, it says TD31U on it. I don't see any made in Taiwan, made in China print on it. If that's so, it's possible this is the updated distributor. There was a recall in the early 90s. These were going out. So the way to tell, this is not an OEM cap. As you pull the cap off, I loosened it already. These are not captive. It tells me it's not an OEM cap. Oh, where those screws go? As you take a look at the igniter, In Japan, this is probably a now this just pulls off. Take a look at the igniter, and that looks like a genuine Hitachi igniter on there. So I'm probably going to grab this distributor. It's a nice OEM distributor. When you buy an aftermarket one, you get cheap parts, you get cheap igniter. There you go. Talk to you guys later.